Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to make holes on your mesh using subdivision surface modeling. Before I start, I want to set up two rules. Rule number one is that I don't want to disturb this outer edge because I want it to retain its shape. If I take my knife here, I cut tool and cut through this, you will see the contour changed. Let me undo so you can see the difference. I do not want to do that. And uh, the second premise is that we are only going to generate quads. Although that's not always necessary, it's good practice to know how to do it. So let's see two different scenarios here. I'm going to go to polygon mode, get my selection tool. And uh, one scenario is that I want to make a hole that uh, uh, fits in uh, more than one polygon, so two polygons. And uh, two polygons have one, two, three, four, five, six points. All you have to do is right click and uh, fit to circle, press apply, and uh, there you have it. You can do an inset and then a couple of extrudes and you have your perfect hole. So that's not a problem. Let me undo a few times and go back to this. This principle applies uh, when you have more than one polygons and it can be four, it can be six, it can be eight, nine, whatever. It doesn't make a difference. The difference is when you want to make a hole in one polygon. So let's take this and uh, see what happens if I do my inset and my extrude and uh, turn on the subdivision surface and that's not a perfect circle it's a bit square so let me undo we do need based on quick tip 116 at least five points but in this case i'm actually going to work with six let me show you what i'm going to do i'm going to get my cut tool and cut a point here press escape cut a point here press escape and with a selection already here right click and say fit to circle and press apply now this if i do an insert and a couple of extrudes, you will see that it is a perfect circle. But uh, we didn't uh, follow one of the rules that I only want quads. So let's go back to this and uh, let's fix this end gone and this end gone to be quads. How do we do that without exiting over here? Because I can always take my knife and cut out here, but now I've created that little problem. So let me undo a few times. Let me show you how this is done. You use your cut tool and you click here and then here and here and here and here. You press escape and then to resolve this end gone, this end gone and this end gone, you just point them over here. So click and drag, escape, click and drag, escape. And there you have it. These now are all quads. So insert, extrude, extrude and one more insert. And you have your perfect little circle without disturbing your edges. A quick permutation of the previous is when you have a hole here and a hole here. In this particular case, what you will do is cut only one and then right click and make your circles. And uh, your quads are already here because these two are connected with these two quads. So let's do an inset. Let's do our extrude, extrude, one more inset. And your holes are perfect with five points each. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.